telling you right now is that the NBA absolutely wants Cooper Flag to go to the Utah Jazz. If they want the NBA product to just get better, improved, more interesting. Here's why. The number one rated NBA Finals of all time was with Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls. And it was both those finals against the Utah Jazz. Now, you could argue that because it was the end of Michael Jordan's career and that he was nearing the end and people wanted to see that and Michael Jordan was extremely popular, that that's why those NBA finals were so well watched. Well, there's one component of those finals that I think people forget, and that was the Utah Jazz element. If you don't remember, it was the John Stockton, Carl Malone era Jazz who were hated by everyone else outside of Utah. They were the team everyone loved to hate. Carl Malone had more knockout elbows on different players. If you don't remember, he knocked out the Admiral David Robinson. He knocked out Isaiah Thomas. He was absolutely a bully and crushed and got MVP awards that people felt like should go to Michael Jordan. People hated Karl Malone. Obviously, Jazz fans did not. He was MVP caliber. He led the Jazz to absolute crazy runs in the playoffs that eventually led them to face Michael Jordan and the Bulls. And the Bulls. The other player that was absolutely hated was John Stockton, the all-time steals and assists leader. He was so hated, we still see podcasts today of players from back in the day alleging that the Jazz somehow cheated by giving John Stockton unearned assists and steals, which is absolutely bonkers and untrue, but because he was so hated, those stories still come out. On top of that, John Stockton was always considered one of the more dirty players in the NBA. He would set screens on big men, use his elbows to hurt those players, and set screens that Honestly, other players just didn't like. He was one of the toughest players out there and did not care if he hurt you on the Jazz way to a, to a victory. And so when the Utah Jazz, who were the most hated team, went up against Michael Jordan, it was the perfect storm because the only thing people love to do more than root for their team is to root against the team that they hate. And that is why Cooper Flag has to go to Utah. Is there really a villain in this league anymore. We haven't really seen that since the Steph Curry, Draymond Green, Kevin Durant Warriors against the LeBron James return to Cleveland Cavaliers. Those finals were some of the most beloved because teams, because fans had clear lines set. They knew who they wanted to root for in LeBron James, and they knew who they wanted to root against in the unbeatable Golden State Warriors and Kevin Durant. No one wanted Kevin Durant in Golden State. They just won and won and won. No one could beat their record, and so the lines were drawn. If you do not have a major villain in the NBA, you don't have a strong enough product. No story is as strong if it doesn't have a good villain. What is Star Wars without Darth Vader? What is Indiana Jones without the Nazis? And what is the Princess Bride without the Dread Pirate Roberts, right? The intrigue is there. That's what makes the story interesting. And if the NBA does not have a villain, then they don't have a good product. Putting Cooper Flag in Utah, making the Jazz great, being that team that everyone loves to hate, they everyone already clowns on the Jazz and hates on the Jazz anyway, so the Jazz just need to lean into it. Is there anyone more hated than Danny Ainge? No. Is there anyone more clowned on than Utah? The team that was just hated because... You know, they had Rudy Gobert that everyone just decided they hated. And I promise you, part of it was because he was in Utah. So you put Cooper Flag in Utah with Danny Ainge, with the Jazz tanking to get him. Everyone's going to hate the Jazz. And if they become incredible and Cooper Flag becomes the face of the league, but as the villain, they will sell shoes. They will sell tickets and they will sell subscriptions to League Pass and to their cable providers. It's everything that Adam Silver wants for this league to get to the next level. Make it happen, NBA. Put Cooper Flag in a Utah Jazz uniform, and you will find out real quick what draws people's attention to the TV. Is it, it isn't dumb arguments on ESPN. It isn't 
social media clips of dunks and people getting dunked on. What it is is people rooting for one team and rooting against another and watching to see their team they hate lose and watching their team try to beat them. Make the Jazz great again, NBA, and you will have a product you will absolutely sell hand over fist. Guys, like and subscribe to the channel. I'll talk to you next time.